Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. So today we're going to talk about my newest addition to my fragrance collection and this is Olympia Solar by Paco Rabanne. So this is their newest release, uh, the 2022 summer um, flanker. And uh, to be completely honest, I'm not a massive fan of the original um, Olympia by Paco Rabanne, but I tend to like the flanker. So I was actually really curious about this particular one and look at the bottle look how stunning the bottle is with a kind of a gold pattern here it is just so pretty so that was definitely a good first impression right let's have a look at the notes now and i'm going to tell you a little bit about the fragrance itself so the top notes here are orange peel mandarin orange orange blossom then we have middle notes of tiara flower solar notes white flowers and oak moss and then base notes ylang lang and benzoin okay guys so this scent this is like the most beautiful uh sunny mm, creamy floral scent it's just stunning it, it's like happiness in a bottle it actually makes me happy just to uh, just to smell it uh, such a beautiful scent it's slightly sexy i would say but not like too over the top uh this is more like um like a kind of like almost like a natural skin scent like sun-kissed skin scent uh, with some flowers on top uh, as I said slightly sexy but nothing too uh, much nothing too much in your face very very beautiful fragrance very bright very summery uh, the solar notes if you're afraid of those you don't have to be this is not much of like a santan lotion i mean I'm, i know that actually most of you guys actually like santan lotion note in your fragrances uh, i'm personally not a fan so i'm actually glad that this actually gives a little bit different vibe uh more of a sun kissed skin rather than a uh, santan lotion kind of solar notes the fragrance stays quite close to your skin but it is actually very good for lasting the concentration of this fragrance is eau de profond intense which is quite unique by the way because for most like summer scents you would actually expect um, them to be eau de toilette and they're quite like lightweight uh, so they don't really last that well this one is eau de profond intense it stays quite well uh, so you don't have to worry about that i've also noticed on fragrantica that some people tend to be anosmic to this fragrance so definitely not the type of fragrance you would want to blind buy even though there's nothing to dislike about it like i mean if you if you kind of like the notes you should be able to like this fragrance as well but i mean you don't really want to buy a fragrance you can't really smell on you right um anyway compared to the previous fragrances from the line um the original paco Rabanne, um olympia uh, as i mentioned before not my favorite uh these are actually quite different so if you have this one you don't really have to worry uh that this is going to be similar to similar uh the main similarity or maybe the only similarity i get be between these these two fragrances is that they both give me this kind of like warm summer skin kind of vibe uh the original one will be you know um sun-kissed skin after have after bathing in uh, the ocean for like an hour or so uh, or just like uh, chilling on the on the beach, uh, whereas this one is just like a nice sun-kissed skin with some uh, lotion on it um, during a walk in a park, maybe. Uh, so that's the difference between them, and that's the only pretty much similarity as well, because these fragrances are like quite quite different. Uh, this one being floral and uh, sexy and creamy, and this one like literally salty vanilla very kind of vibe uh comparing this to other flankers i don't think it makes much sense because they just tend to be even more different uh the other two flankers i have is uh olympia intense and uh here the differences are even bigger this is like a proper kind of um very strong sexy scent there is no similarity whatsoever according to me between these two fragrances and then we have olympia legend uh, which again is completely different fragrance based on plum uh, so uh, if you have any of these three fragrances um, you shouldn't be worried that this is going to be too similar because it's definitely not so if I were to compare this to any other fragrance I actually own, uh, I would probably say the closest similarity according to me again would be this one here. This is Lady Million Fabulous. So both of these fragrances have solar notes and I'm kind of assuming that uh, these solar notes are actually quite similar. Neither of these fragrances is giving me 
uh, like proper sun tan lotion vibe so uh, I think uh, they kind of probably use the same solar notes they both also have uh, the mandarin orange and the uh, lang lang so these are the similarities but I do think that the vibe is different this one is like your natural skin scent vibe I mentioned that like 1000 times already but that's what it is whereas this one is like more in your face a little bit like heavier a little bit more like maybe like a nighttime version of this fragrance that could be that because uh, there is a similarity but I think the vibe is quite different too so just to sum it up I think this is a beautiful scent it's perfect for spring and summer uh, this is one of the most used fragrances in my collection at the moment I don't have I've, I haven't had it for that long uh, so obviously you can't really see much than yet uh, but definitely one of my favorites this season and uh, highly recommend it if you like that kind of fragrances so if you're interested in purchasing that i'm going to link uh, where you can buy it in the best uh, price and if i see any uh, discount codes obviously i'm just going to list them, list them as well and this is everything for today thank you very much for watching for more fragrance related content check those videos here i'm going to see you very soon take care bye